but they're just not on there. <clears throat> but if you guys saw, our bulletin looks snazzy now. Yes, yeah, we got a new bulletin layout. I mean, kind of, kind of. Yeah, you, you can have this one if you want. Um, yeah, but in the, so inside you'll see our church vision and mission. So that was put together with the help of C.R. Welch. We're so grateful for her. And then there's also um, inside the bulletin some, uh, just a description of the Lenten devotional sacred invitation that we're going to be um, embarking on together as a church. And the, not bark. But the, the, the devotionals are on the table back there, so please feel free to take one. Um, but that's everyday devotion um, over the course of Lent, this Lenten season. Um, and then, let's see, what else do we have that's new in the bulletin? I think that's it. Oh, yeah, the upcoming events are listed on the back. And so that has up to April, our upcoming events. That was, that was the announcements, right? That now. was the announcements, yeah. Right. See, easy announcements today. Right, aloha everyone. This fuck say life too, yeah, right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yes, sir. We bless you. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I don't even know what that day is about or how the thing came from, but I know that you know, I guess Cupid shoot the arrows in a guy, but I mean, you know, it's a day people celebrate love and stuff like that, that but like Yeah, but you know for us guys it's whew, Valentine's Day. It's an cross, eh? When Jesus said, not kind, but for God so loved the world, he gave sent his only son. But I mean, like, this morning, Mahana was talking on in her sermon. She said, like, you know, we, we understand what is love because we always love first. Eh? Like, you know, and that's how we love somebody, like the way God loved. You know, it's the only way, yeah. But, um, yes, sir. So, um, yeah, we'll go pray. we we'll go praise the Lord and get into the word. And, yes, sir. Uh, Pulikako, our Father. Whew. Mahalo, Lord, for once again uh, bringing us here tonight, Lord, that uh, we can gather like this and praise your holy name. And uh, yeah, Lord, we mahalo you for everything. We mahalo you for this life that we have inside of us. Jesus, we mahalo you for everything you have done for us and continue to do. And uh, the path that you have, have laid for us and uh, the way. And uh, the vine that we connected to, Lord. But yeah, Lord, we just here for a leafy arm. And give you all the praise. I just pray that um, tonight for we'll soften our hearts and uh, turn our minds and our hearts to you right now. And, and uh, reveal to us the things that we don't need inside of our hearts. And put the things that we do need inside there. Lord. So uh, well, we give you all the praise, all the glory is yours. In Jesus, we go. Amen. Amen. Okay, what is the first time? You can do whatever. Oh, Jesus, the light of the world. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that makes this heart adore you. Hopes for my life, stand me. Here I am to say that you're my 
Sacrifice and offering you did is honor for life for forever. Ooh, that grace honor, Lord. So yeah, Lord, as we hear, open up our hearts, Lord. Let us proclaim this. Yeah, let's ask the Lord for coming. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power of love, as we sing holy, holy, holy. High and lifted up, it's shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power of love, as we sing holy, 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 holy. Let's 
sing holy 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 you are holy 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 you are holy 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 lord i just want to sing <laughs> oh praise the lord ah oh, to this message ah oh. Mahane was, was preaching on was uh, about the glory, eh? Jesus' is transfiguration, man. <coughs> to see his glory, high and lifted up, like, wow. And she's talking about the veil, yeah? That uh, God went hammered, that Jesus went hammered that veil, but so his glory is, is, is among us. <laughs> and when you lift him up, his glory can shine, eh? like, you know, and glory, oh, that glory is like the kind, of, it's something, it's, 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 it's uh, oh, it's what something is meant to be, yeah? It's like I said, everything is God's glory. Because everything is meant for, it's His but This is the revelation of that one of kind. Cool. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep praising. Oh, my soul, my soul. 
Saving our soul, Lord. <laughs> you know, when you are, yeah, that's, that, that, that good news, that spirit, that honor that you fill our soul with, Lord. Oh, we got to praise. We got to praise. Yes, sir. Did you show me? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Well, huh. I know they like, stop praising, but we get some birds too, but <laughs> we can pray some more after them. Our good prayer. Wow, wow, Heavenly Father. Our Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we just thank you for being here. And, uh, these words that we can sing that that connect our our worship. Like, you know, this this these songs is like is is who you are, Lord. What you've done and the things that you know manifest in our life, they come to life inside of us, Lord. Because of you. So Lord, we just praise you. We thank you for for your word, for your good news that brought this news to us that we when you know we heard, then we won't know. But yeah, Lord. Um, I just pray, just pray that you continue to minister to this. Continue to uh, bless us with your, your presence, Lord, and your truth and your spirit. And yeah, Lord, um, as I speak to these words, I just pray that uh, you bring out the manaho, Lord, in our hearts and our mind. Yeah, Lord. Plant our seeds and let you germinate them. So we love you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Woo, God. That was awesome. God is good, eh, bro? Okay. It's crazy thing. It's like he not change, bro. The things, the things that is changing is us, eh? Our perspectives, the things inside of our life, the thing kind of make us look at things different. And sometimes, you know, plenty of times we forget or we try to carry things by ourselves. Yeah. We get reminded once again, like, hey, Jesus, tell God, cast them all on me. You know, bring me a stop. I carry them. You know, I mean, carry them already. The things that you're struggling with, I mean, my out after already, you know, just enter into my rest. But, yeah. whew, yes, I praise the Lord. I forget where I stay, bro. <laughs> but, ah, stay up. But, um, yeah, today, happy Valentine's Day. Once again, yeah, you know. But you know, like we are, oh God, like we, you know, we celebrate love, bro. We celebrate, we live in love, you know. Since God is love, Jesus is the revelation of that love. That's the right, that's the reason why we understand love. You know what I mean? And love is, you know, in Corinthians, love is not kind, not boastful, not proud. Love no, no keep track of things. He's, you know, like God, that's that's love right there. He's, he's, like I love that inside the Bible. It doesn't really say why God loves us. He just does. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he is love. You know what I mean? Like he is the kind, bro. Like that's that's what he like us lead on, cause he's love. You know, that's all the kind, bro. You know, Jesus, he came for a kind, eh, bro. So I'm gonna talk story a little bit today, but like, you know, today Mahane was uh, her her sermon was about um, Mark nine and a transfiguration eh, of Jesus. Jesus took up Peter, John, and James, and they went up to the mountain. And um, he said that he was he was transfigured before their eyes like this white that uh, that nobody seen before on earth like no more. He says that uh, bleach more, more white than bleach could make laundry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking like to me, I mean, just going strong fasting. I was thinking like, wow, they had Clorox back in the days. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, hey, there's something they don't understand. They they had some bleach, bro. They used to wash clothes and stuff. Like you know, like you know, think about that kind of stuff or they wash stuff. Eh? But he says that the kind bro. That he was transfigured before their eyes and then um that that he was talking story with Moses and Elijah. You know? And as um my wife, the man was the kind, like uh, the transfiguration was the kind, like you know. God was doing something inside Jesus, he's doing something for the heart, eh? the inner man. Like the kingdom of man is outside. They do everything for the outside. The kingdom of God is for the inner man, but right? it's for a, it's a kingdom within. It's in a spiritual place, you know. That manifests into the physical. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but so uh, you know, so that kind of I heard I heard one one pastor say that like though it's called transfiguration, it's also the transaction, eh? It's like the kind like um because Moses he represents the law, yeah, which is God's ways for the people. Elijah, the prophet. 
and Elijah, he don't want like, you know, he was on prophet. We know that he was taken up in a whirlwind. Eh? And that's what I'm going to preach about tonight, is the whirlwind and taking him out. But, like, I just want to put a kind, like, um, about, like, that love, I mean, about love, yeah? Like, Jesus, he transfiguration inside of our heart. He, he transformed inside the, inside the heart, the inner man. You know, that's why the planning of Jesus is my now. It's about the heart, about the kind, like, the inside, you know, and Jesus said, like, I don't come for, the Pharisees, they, they, they talk about laws and all kind of stuff, but Jesus said, like, I never come for box out that laws. I never, I came for fulfill them. I came for actually show you guys what these laws mean. You guys would make all kind. I mean, my father, I want to give you guys 10. I, I'm going to give you guys two laws that, that the other laws going to hang on top, you know, we're going to bring them back to two laws. You know, my father had to continue to give you guys laws because you guys kept breaking his kind. Like, you know what I mean? He kept, I mean, the humanness kept breaking them. So God had to keep giving them laws. Moses had to keep giving them laws so that he could come back to the regular laws. You know, the laws in the laws in the laws. But, <laughs> it. Lawless. <laughs> but, you know, Jesus, the, the, the two commandments is love God with all your heart, mind, soul, spirit, everything that you get. And love your neighbor as yourself. He said, all the other laws, hang on this too. <laughs> love. You know, and so we share love, and guys like celebrate love after that. That's why the time, bro. And like, I feel like you know, like the transaction part, Elijah and Moses, they represent. So prophets, prophets was the word. They they bring good news out. I mean, sometimes it's not good news because he's just they're telling the truth about what God like revealed to the people. Yeah, and in plenty of time, it's like bars. You guys not following the ways. You guys gotta repent, turn back to God, and He going bless you, but. If you keep going down this road, you're not going to get blessed, bro. You know what I mean? But, so they had prophecies of, had prophecies of God's grace and mercy coming upon them, man. And the kind of, you know, Messiah. They was waiting for the Messiah, the Savior, which was Jesus. So when I say transfiguration, it also said that they would disappear, yeah? Well, you know, uh, like this morning, my was telling Peter, him being scared of what he's seen. He said, man. We should build three houses. One for Elijah, one for uh, Moses, and one for you, Jesus. And then, you know, while he's still talking, God, God come into a cloud. Boom. Cover everybody. Ho! This is my son. This is my beloved son whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Then, I could just imagine, like, you know, it doesn't really say what happened, but it says after that, when they come back into reality, uh, only Jesus was there. Jesus was still standing there, except, uh, you know, Moses and Elijah, they had to go. They was power ready. The Hannah, they are the kind of power. You know, the laws was fulfilled already. The prophecy fulfilled. The law is here among men, you know. So I just say, I like, I picture that too. Like, you know, God speaking. Eh? Like, when you hear them inside of scripture, you just kind of read them. But like, everything had to stop. Guarantee, when God would speak, guys, was like, really. That's the first scare that Peter was feeling in his heart from just seeing Jesus and Elijah, guys. Bro. When God will speak, he probably just said, like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, like, Jesus is left, bro. And then God is saying, like, you know, I believe God saying to us, too. He's like, bro, just listen to Jesus, bro. You're planning laws. You're planning prophecies. You're planning all kinds of stuff, bro. But Jesus is the fulfilled prophecy. Jesus is the right kind, the way we should be living. He's the standard. He's the, the way, the truth, and the life. Those things that we hear is the truth and the way and the life. <laughs> <laughs> I see going off on a kind, but, but you know, like, yeah, that's why, uh, that's why tonight, though, I just want to give a background about Elijah and, like, his story, yeah, because, like, like Mahani was telling this morning, too, yeah, it's like the people, Peter, John, and James, they know Moses and Elijah. They know the story, yeah. And Elijah got taken up by a whirlwind. You know, Elijah never died physically, but, and was, had witnesses. Had, had Elisha and had 50 other prophets there witnessing that. So that is part of the history, bro. So they know Elijah, eh? And that's why I wanted to like, talk about Elijah and like, his story, bro. You know? So, like, Elijah, we, if you guys don't know the stories, but you guys know, um, you know, uh, remember when Elijah come on the scene, he, he, he come into Israel and he tell the king that the guy not going to reign, a prophet from God, like, before, in, in that time, in his time, a lot of the, the, the nation was, was like, so Israel, they used to go through these seasons where you used to get one good king, turn to, the God, turn to God, 
tear down idols that the people worship in the Nakai. We turn everything back to, to worship God. But then like, they used to fall into patterns. The next king, he turned evil, wicked. He started worshiping all kinds of different gods in Nakai. So like, this time of Elijah was a time where um, Baal, the god Baal, they used to worship Baal, like me and kind. And I guess it was like a, he was on big religion at that time. But that word Baal, that word come from, um, <clears throat> we see that word again. Eh? Um, when Remember the Pharisees telling Jesus, you say casting out demons by Baal, Beelzebub, Beelzebub, or a kind. But that's Baal. That's that spirit right there. You know, and that's so like, that's not a kind of the rebellious spirit. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the devil, but it's the Satan. It's the, the adversary to God, yeah? But, so anyway, Elijah. Elijah is a prophet that he came up on a scene and he, and he told him that um, he spoke the word of God and he told him the kind like, um, he, he wanted to turn the people back to God. So, he would call out their God, Baal. He said like, okay, we're going to make two, we're going to make two offerings. One for, one for my God, one for God. And you bring all your, your, your prophets, you bring all your, your priests, you bring all your Baal guys. And make one. So you, you get one bull, you prepare them, throw them on the altar. I, I, we, I get my bull, I throw them on the altar. And then we see who, who, who's ever won, get consumed with fire. That's the real one. You know? And then we know the story. We, if you don't know the story, well, Baal's, Baal's priest. And at that time, Israel, the king, he was married to this woman, Jezebel. And Jezebel, she's on uh, she's Pilau's spirit. Bro. She, you even see her in Revelation, her spirit. The talk about the, the spirit of Jezebel and that kind, like you know how how it uh, it turns people away from God and that kind is pilaw. But that was his wife, that guy, um, the king of Israel. So Elijah, they get plenty of the, the Baal's prophets, and they say caught in themselves trying to get their God Baal for for light the, the fire the altar. But um, <clears throat> Elijah starts cranking a man like, "What? Well, where your God stay? Maybe see he's in a battle." Uh, I don't know. You, say, you know what I mean? She's cracking them up and they say cutting themselves, but guys even dying, nothing happening. So, okay, now yeah, you know what? Okay. You know what? We better throw some water on top, man. Throw some water. Have a trench around the head, wood, and had the meat and had trench. And he said, throw some water, throw some water. Like, you know? Then he prayed to God. God consumed him <laughs> to nothing. Right there, then people turned like, bam. <clears throat> God is the one God. God is the true God. That's so what the prophets did. Yeah, they did a kind. They were spokesmen for God and turning the, the hearts back to, to God. So he ended up killing all of them. He ended up killing. He took all the priest guys. The, the rest that was left over. He slaughtered them. So like he feeling the kind. Eh? So anyway, the word gets back to Jezebel. And Jezebel, she, she not impressed. <clears throat> she get that spirit of rebellion to you. She said, I'm going to kill you, Elijah. Sending word that I will kill Elijah, you know what I mean? And then Elijah, he 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 becomes scared, like who? And he he bounced, he <laughs> he bounced, you know what I mean? After God just did this stuff, kind he bounced and he go hide in uh Okay, I gotta get to the story, so I'm gonna make it short. But um, <laughs> he hide, eh? He go into the cave and he he say he like died, and then you know God he God God come he, he God um bring God's angels bring him food. And the kind keep him nourished. And then finally, God say, "Hey, pa, get up!" Or the angel tell God, "Let talk to you." <laughs> you know, so uh, I don't know if you know the story, but like, ah, uh, we just was reading. Uh, it's fresh because we just was reading about. But uh, God come in the earthquake, yeah. Well, the earthquake come. God, no, 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 what the voice? The fire come. The wind come. They right there. God, he's, he's whisper, pa. talk story. With. He had to whisper because I think if not. Elijah would mock it, <laughs> but Elijah the guy got to hey, it's time, boy. Hey, it's time for get up. It's time for do what you was made for do. And then that's why Elijah. So now I, I'm getting I'm getting into this story. So so Elijah, from there God tell Elijah for oh, okay, you gonna anoint this new king, yeah, this king, okay. I, you go, I, 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 go, I get one king for you. You gonna anoint and then I get one prophet too for you that gonna take your place. And his name is Elisha. And this is the story that we the kind eh, that we're gonna get into. Elisha is the next prophet. So, so okay, Elijah gave a mission now again. Okay. You know what I mean? God will speak to him and he the kind. He, he, he going. So I'm gonna read one um kind of one passage before, just so that we know who Elisha is. So like 
But um, when I started learning the word, that's kind of a confusing thing about, you know, Elijah and Elisha. You always kind of think, like, you know, they, they crisscross when you stay hearing them. You, you, you don't know which one is which, eh? But it's Elijah. He's the one that we're not kind of talking about. And he's going he to call Elisha. He, he's the next prophet that God gets for his people, yeah? So this is the story of how right after God told Elijah to go, go check out Elisha. He said, like, so he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat. While he was plowing with 12 pairs of oxen before him. And he with the 12 and Elijah passed over to him and threw his mantle over him. He left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Please let me kiss my mother, my father and my mother and I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? So he returned from following him and took the pair of oxen and sacrificed them and boiled their flesh with the implements of the oxen and gave it to the people and they ate. Then he arose and followed Elijah and ministered to him. So that's the story of how Elisha came. But um, so um, the implements of the oxen. So this is a story though. So like pretty much Elisha, when Elijah pulled out, Elisha stayed out. Um, he worked in the field. He get 12 pairs of oxen. And he said, I can't with his plow. And he stayed working. And he said that Elijah, he walked up to him. And he put his, he says he put his mantle over him. And I mean, look up mantle, eh? And mantle, it means like, um, check it out. It means, um, uh, it says a large, as a large vine, a white dress, garment, a robe. Yeah, so, so it's his cloak. Yeah, Elijah, he wore a cloak. He put him on over the kind. But it's also one, um, it's like a symbol of an anointing. Yeah. Because he says that Elijah would ask Elisha, like, you understand what I just did? And Elijah, Elijah said, yeah. Like, you know, he would understand that he, he would anoint him with, with, his, with his cloak. You know, he, he, he would put him over. And, and, and Elisha would understand what was happening. So he says that, you know, he asks if he can go say bye to his mother, guys, kiss him and stuff. And then, you know, he said, go. But so Elisha, he says that the plow that he was using... He would boss them up. He would use them as firewood. <laughs> so this brother was committed already. You know what I mean? After he got the mantle anointing on top of him, it's just like, um, see, you know, what I love about God's ways, yeah? It's always similar, bro. Always get the same pattern, bro. You know what I mean? Like, this kind of fun sound familiar to me, like Peter. You know what I mean? When Jesus caught up the brother, they just dropped the things that they did. Yeah, they left it father. They left it a kind. This brother was working in the middle of the field, plowing. Probably getting ready for the next harvest. But who knows? But uh, who knows he's cooling among his people, yeah? Or what he used to do. But that's why he would make on fire. He cook all the oxen. He give them to everybody. Like, cuz, it's my, uh, who you <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, cuz, you know what I mean? But hey, also brother, Elisha. Just his style, man. I like his style. You know? That's why I like, and even as I read about him and the kind, like, you like, should read about him. And he's, 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 a, he's an awesome prophet of God, man. But he, um, yeah, so he make, and even the kind, even the places that these things happen, it's crazy. So as I read this, yeah, I read that the place this happened where um, Elijah, when called Elijah, was on the road to Damascus, in the wilderness of Damascus. Who else was called on the road in the wilderness in Damascus? Brother Paul had that conversion too. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, this is a place where a kind comes. It happens. You know, it's, you know like, the kind comes. It actually happened over here. God's, God call his, his, the kind, his, uh, the ones who, like, serve, the ones who is, is purpose to the kind, you know? And we get them in the stories, but the thing is connected way more than we think, you know? That's why our stories, the thing is, can relate to this, the kind, but, but it's a story of God calling, eh? <laughs> it's not a story of these brothers. It's the story of the way God moved, but. You know, so that is brother Elisha. So now he's following Elijah, eh? and he's kind of like in our apprenticeship, yeah. He's following Elisha. So I, I, I'm sure like Elijah is the kind he or Elisha is witnessing Elijah the way he moves, the way he are, uh, the way he's he commune with God, the way that the kind and he, they bring him back to the land to Pono, eh? They bring him back the land to the Lord because Baal was was on that land before this, but now. God is anointing a new king. 
God is anointed a new prophet. He's doing new things, yeah? So, let's go into 2 Kings 2, 1 through 12. Yeah? And, so this is a story. This is at the end of, obviously, this is at the end of Elijah's um, ministry. It's time for him to go up. Yeah? And as we read this, we're going to see that the kind bro, that everybody knew that it was time. You know? So Elisha, Elisha, stay right with him, bro. And it's, it's bad. We'll read them first, and I'm going to tell you guys how cool these brothers are. All right. So, 2 Kings, verse 2, from 1. And it came about when the Lord was about to take up Elijah by a whirlwind to heaven, that, he, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please. Stay over here. For the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Then the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? <clears throat> And he said, yes, I know. Be still. In other translations, like um, it says, it says uh, when a prophet tells Elisha that, oh, Elisha going, he can be taken from you today. He says that, he says that Elisha, he says, I know. This one says, be still. But in other translations, he says, be quiet. Like, like they try to say, like, hey, Elisha telling you for stay over here. He will be taken from you, you know. But Elisha is telling like, hey, be quiet. I know. I know. Be quiet. <laughs> you know? You can see, you can keep doing that. So Elijah said to him, Elisha, please stay here. This is a, oh, so this is a new verse, yeah? But some not seeing, man. Elijah said to him, Elisha, please stay here. For the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The sons of the prophets who were at Jericho approached Elisha. And said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from you today? And he answered, Yes, I know. Be quiet. <laughs> then Elisha said to him, Please stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he said, and he said As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Now fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood opposite them at a distance. While the two of them stood by the Jordan, Elijah took his mantle and folded it together, his cloak, yeah, and struck the waters, and, the, and they were divided here. They were divided here and there, so that the two of them crossed over the, on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha Say, please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. He said, Hey, look, up. you have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be done so for you. But if not, it shall not be so. As they were going along and talking, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire which separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind to heaven. Elisha, Elisha saw it and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And he saw Elijah no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and he tore them into pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and returned and stood by the bank of the Jordan. He took the mantle of Elijah and fell from, that fell from him and struck the waters and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And when he had also had struck the waters, they were divided here and there. And Elisha crossed over. Whew. So right there, they planned inside there. But how was brother Elisha? Like, he never like leave, he never like leave his master's side, Elijah. Yeah, that will kind of remind me too of Peter, bro. Like, 
that Peter, bro, he like, you know, he was walking with Jesus. He, you know, he said like, nah, no way, I, I, got, I would die for you. And I mean, we know that he never, and he felt bad after, but like, you know, that the kind that connected, like not, not wanting to leave the sight of the kind, the master. And, and, um, When the kind of, you know how it's shit like the God's word and the way God do things, yeah? You always get a pattern, yeah? And even the kind like this. This, um, this story <clears throat> is, um, so I think about the kind, yeah? Like, um, like when they say that, um, in the, in the gospels, yeah? When they say the kind, talk about the, the spirit of Elijah, yeah? Like, for example, when I, for example, this is what God wrote out. So in Luke 1, 17, it says, Luke 1, 17, this is when um, the angel Gabriel, they're talking to um, the kind, John the Baptist is dead, eh? But it says, it is he who will go as a forerunner. He tell you about John. It is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah. To turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the disobedient to the attitude of the righteous so as to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Eh? Like as I read this story eh, about Elisha and Elijah, like amazing the kind. Elisha, he wanted to, he never let leave his master's side, yeah? But because he was like that, because he was like that, he was able to inherit one double portion of Elijah's spirit, yeah? Because Elijah told him, like, Elijah kept telling Elijah for, hey, you gotta stay over here because I gotta go. He said, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna leave you, but, you know, other guy's telling him, no, hey, come, hey, you gotta, you know, hey, your master's gonna be taking from you, but, he said, but I know, be quiet. <laughs> you know, and then, every three places they went. They went Bethel, Jericho, and Jordan. They ended up at the Jordan, though. Yeah? And, and three times they said that, yeah. And Elisha, Elisha is like, no, no, I know. Uh, he said, be quiet, I know. You know, but they like, that would allow him. Elisha, when Elisha asked him, like, what you like? I like a double portion of your spirit. And then he said, okay, if you see me getting taken up, if you see me getting taken up, then it will be granted to you. So he telling like that kind, like, if you, if this happened, that could happen. But if you don't see it, that not going to happen. So he kind of telling like, hey, if God like you have that, you will see this. If you don't like, then you're not. You know what I mean? And he said, like, okay. But Elisha was interesting. All my life, all, the whole time I hear scripture, I thought Elijah was taken up by a chariot. It says that he was taken up by a whirlwind. But the fire of chariot was used for separate the two. He never come up for a kind, but I think God was looking like this brother not leaving. You know what I mean? <laughs> Elisha not leaving Elijah. Because he's so close to him. And he said, okay. Okay, I'm gonna set on fire down. You know what I mean? And like, cause this place, I was, I was like, wow. You know, I was looking for familiarities because, like, I was saying, God's pattern, the way He do things, everything is in a time, bro. Then I noticed, <clears throat> where is that? It's that the Jordan, bro. <laughs> where is that? That's where John the Baptist. That's why He said that John the Baptist was a forerunner for Jesus, yeah. But this is where John went baptized Jesus, bro, in the Jordan, and the Holy Spirit went come down upon Jesus, bro. Not even double portion, all portion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everything will come down, cause and and the Holy Spirit is known as the fire too, yeah. You know, like even the kind. Um, we see we see the same thing with his disciples, yeah. So, if you look at Elisha and Elijah, so Elisha was following Elijah, his disciple, <laughs> following, learning all the things, the kind and what God will let him witness when ascending to heaven. The same thing like the kind. The same thing like the disciples. The disciples was following Jesus. And Jesus would come back after he got resurrected in his body for a kind of us. I told you. <laughs> I stay here. You know what I mean? And, and what? I will put a mantle on top of you guys. I will put myself on top of you guys. I will clone you guys with myself. The mantle, bro. You know what kind? And we're, not a, we're not a definition of a mantle, that's why. The thing is mantle. But it's the kind of glory, bro. Garment, glory. What is glory? It says, glory is to think, recognize a personal thing for what it is. Appearance, reputation. It basically refers to the recognition belonging to a person, honor, renown. 
like glory. Jesus is putting his glory upon us, bro. You know, that's why that kind of today's message was about unveiling that, that veil that sit between the kind, bro. The spiritual and the physical. And the kind, the things of the world and the things of God. He hammered off the, the, the veil so that the glory of God can come upon us like the mantle, bro. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy, bro. The, the, the kind, the familiar, the familiarness, bro. And I kind of lose my train of thought of you. But Elisha, yeah, so yeah, the, the chariot of fire, yeah? You know, even the Holy Spirit, like when he came upon, Jesus said, like he was waiting in this upper room, when he came upon the guy, is what he was, on fire. And he was the kind. The guy was, was speaking tongues and the kind, but like, it's a new company and then the word of the Lord is upon us, in us, bro. The kind, and um, the, the, the disciples, they wasn't, they wasn't scholar guys, bro. They had, their wit they had their testimonies and what they would witness of the good news here on earth. And God and Jesus' word inside of them. You know, and the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus, Jesus told his disciples, he said what? He said like, oh, I got to do this, bro. I got to go on the cross for you guys. So that the Holy Spirit can come. And he going to remind you of all these things I'm telling you. All these things that I'm telling you, he going to remind you. He going to bring to pass. He going to bring to understanding. You know what I mean? And then what happened? They start writing the Gospels. All these things... In John's Gospel, it says that on this account, everything that I will write in the good news is for you to come to believe that Jesus is the Son of Man. And by believing in Him, you have eternal life. But he says that uh, there is way more things that we will list than this. He said, but if we was, if we was to pull, if we was try to write it down on paper, there's not enough books in this world, bro. Of what Jesus really did. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they, that's why, but that's why Jesus, that's, they're the disciples, yeah? They, they will um, follow him, bro. And I wonder, I, sometimes I wonder, yeah, like we read about this and we read about certain followers of Christ, yeah? 12 disciples. But I kind of wonder if like, like in Luke's, in Luke's account, he says that he had plenty of disciples, yeah, one time. And they like, certain teachings they could handle and people were bouncing. Like, he went from planning disciples to the guy, and then he asked, he asked that core group of brothers, Peter guys, like, what, you guys gonna go to? And then Peter tells him, like, where are we going, love? You don't want to get eternal life. You know what I mean? Your words get eternal life. Where are we going? We trust you. You know what I mean? And, like, I think that, that's why I look when I read this about Elisha, too, and, eh? like, he, he was so close to his master that the kind, like, he was, uh, he was, he was the kind, but that's the kind of serving God like. <laughs> he like, he like one brother that walk in. He like us, walk right behind Christ. He like walk us, walk with him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nothing can separate us from the love of God. But, God, God like, like those followers, that nothing can separate us from God, Him. Like, you know what I mean? The world, the influence of this world, they're trying for a kind, bro. Always take us away from the kind, like, uh, always trying to feed us different kind of stuff, man. Eh? And, you know, like, self work you can do it. Your power. You can do it. You can power. Like, you, you, you get the power for the kind. But, like, nah, I can testify for myself. And then what I will win is I cannot. I still cannot. <laughs> Even though the kind, I get a lot in my mouth, in my heart, in the kind, I still cannot do it without him, bro. Because, I mean, it is him who guides me, who leads me, who the kind is, is the kind, like, you know. But it takes me following him, you know. And takes power, bro, because I like the things of the world, bro. I grew up lasting for things and the kind, like, you know, I get habits and the kind, things that I the kind, we still love to do and the kind, like, you know, that flesh, that desires that we get, bro, you know. That's what I like, so Jesus, he said, our flesh is weak, bro, but the spirit is willing. So our flesh holds the things that we need, eh? We gotta eat, we gotta food, we get, we get the kind of sensations, we get things that make us feel good, you know what I mean? But like, not all of that is good, but I mean, it is good because God will make them, but for, for His purpose, you know, the only reason why we, do, we, we feel these things in that kind. But that's why we need Jesus. He, say, he says that Jesus, He the light eh, of the world. He enlightened every man. He enlightened the kind, because he, he bring to, He bring truth to what is here, what is in front of us. Eh? And I think the kind, but like, you know, and that's what I see here, the manao of these passages, bro. It's the kind like, you know, that double portion that he gave us. That's what Jesus like give us, bro. Everybody who don't, that's, that's God's will for us, bro. It's for, 
He likes me. It's for make disciples out of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That if you don't follow of Christ, if you don't believe of Christ, you ordain to that. You know? And baptizing that, I mean, but like, it's not, you gotta, it's, it's not, it's not um, doing no condemnly, eh? You cannot just say, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look out Jesus. I, I mean, I'm talking to us, then we gotta, because we ordain, eh? We, if you say you believe in Christ, we gotta. If you believe that, if you believe that you say you are, Jesus is your Lord and the Holy Spirit live in you, you got it. Yeah? Because the man I want to get out of this is that, is that spirit of Eliza that Jesus is talking about. Check this out. Matthew 7, well, fast guy. You know, Matthew 17. Man, God's word is all of God's But it's not even, it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to try to explain about it. We're going to go to a different place. For 17, 10, 13. Okay. You know, and then, um, okay, like, so, in this one, in, in this Gospel of Matthew, they, they're coming down from the mountain, bro, from after that transfiguration that we was talking about earlier. And then his disciples asked him, why didn't do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? And he answered and said, Elijah is coming and will restore all things. But I say to you that Elijah already came, and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they wished. So also the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. And he says, then the disciples understood that he was spoke, spoken to them about John the Baptist. Yeah, so it's the spirit of Elijah, we, we know from that, that, um, <clears throat> that prophecy from Luke, and you know, prophecy from God, that, that the spirit of Elijah was was in John, eh? in the in the spirit and power of Elijah is what is how John was moving and preaching the gospel and preaching the kind repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand for forgiveness of sins. Well, he never said kingdom of heaven. He said repent for forgiveness of sins. Yeah, he was making straight one path for the Lord. He was making ready for Jesus. Yeah, but so the spirit of Elijah and Elisha, he wanted one double portion eh? of the spirit. When you read Elisha's account of his life, he did, somebody still told me that he did double. The things that Elisha did, Elisha did double that. So all the, all the miracles and things that um, Elisha did, Elisha did double of that. So like plenty of times, you know, through the years, I hear about the Holy Spirit and the power. You know what I mean? And His power. He says that God never give you power Paul tell Timothy, God never give you a power of fear. He give you a power of love, power and a sound mind. But in a, in the early kingdoms, eh, like power is a totally different thing than a, than the kingdom of heaven power. You know, like Mahane, she was telling this morning, she's talking about the supernatural, eh? And like how we watch all these Marvel Marvel um, movies, eh? And these brothers get like superpowers. It's something that science cannot explain, yeah? It's like supernatural. But, as I was, I was marinating inside his thoughts, yeah? The power is for serve others. That's what the power is for. The super, why, why are you going to be a superman for? Because you got to protect guys. But, oh, the train falling on a guy. Whew, I catch him. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, you're serving other people, bro. So, Elisha, when I look, Elisha had a double portion and he did double of what the kind? He was serving people. It was for service. It was for him display the word of God. Or oh, not even display, but yeah, you know what I mean? For, but speak the word of God and, and let people witness the power of it. You know, and it was for serve them, the widow who was going to die. The oil never ran out. That was, that was one's power of service. Of eating, what power of a necessity that somebody needed, bro. So, like, even though, yes, we, we get the power of God living in us, that resurrected spirit, that resurrected Jesus living in us. But what? What for? Not for you. <laughs> Not for us. Not for us be good. We're supposed to be serving people out of the overflow of our heart. You know what I mean? When Jesus was talking to the um, Samaritan girl, he told him, God, if you knew who was asking you for water, you would ask me, and I would give you living water. The kind that bubbled from inside you, and the thing overflowed. You're never going to be thirsty. But that overflow is what? You know Jesus, bro. He knows. God knows. 
You're not going to just give 5,000 guys food and they let them the guy throw the scraps on the ground. That overflow, bro, is always for blessing, bro. You know, it's always the kind. You see, the two fish and that bread had more inside there. You just cannot see them. But Jesus is overflowing, guys. That basket was overflowing. <laughs> you know, and that's the kind, bro. Like, that's what, that's what I believe God in the kind. That's how, that's how God's kingdom can surpass every other kingdom, bro. Because it's an overflowing kingdom. The other kingdoms, they're trying to maintain, guys. Early kings, they're trying to maintain peace and comfort and kind, cause That's why to me, like, you know, religion, I, I believe that's a man-made word. Eh? It's, how, it's how people are kind, get their relationship with a higher power or a kind. But like, I'm so happy to be in the one I am because get power. Get power for serve. And the power is for serve others. You know, it's not like anyone please for just get peace and stay in one place. And the kind, like, you know, so... Some, I mean, some, some practices, people, they go into the nature and they just zone and they the kind, they become one with them and just stay a part of that. But like, when you go into the town, still get crazy problems. You know what I mean? Like, God, Jesus, he will come in the middle of humanity, bro, in the craziness of who we are. And he will the kind give us peace. <laughs> Jesus, like, like us, walk into the world. Like, you know, like, God's kingdom was always among other kingdoms. And was supposed to be on light for, for, for the other nations, yeah? Which it is now, like, you know what I mean? It's still happening like that. Like, that's why Jesus said, this, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, that's the power right there. The Father will send the Son. The Son will let the Spirit come, and now He's here. Yeah? So, I mean, that's the manao of tonight. It's the kind of... Is the spirit is, but it comes in Christ, yeah. You know, it's that's kind of just us. That's that's a best a big picture, but that's the surface, yeah. Like God, He like our hearts, bro. Jesus will come for, for, for hammer those things, give us a new heart, so God can pour His Spirit with inside our hearts, and so that we can serve others, yeah. You know, and at the same time, though, like wow, the God that we get is so good that His Holy Spirit is serving us, bro. It's like, he always, he says that kind, don't worry if you don't know what you for pray about. Because the Holy Spirit that stay with you, is praying for you. He intercessing for you. Jesus is intercessing, Jesus will provide that kind too, bro. Intercessing for, between that and the Father. You know what I mean? We, we get one, we get one family, we get one, it's not even religion, bro. It's a relationship, bro, with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and, that's a picture of our mind, body, and soul, cause like that's how you can become whole, bro. It's from the inside your heart, you know. And it's a hard road, though. I'm not gonna say like, like just cause you get that power, that kind, you're not gonna be, you know. You're not gonna be the kind, bro. Going through things, but Jesus said like, yeah, in this world you gonna have tribulations. It's coming, but be happy, bro, because I will overcome all that. You know, inside me, bro, you gonna you gonna conquer this. <clears throat> you gonna kind, we gonna, gonna take this. We're going to take this kingdom to everybody. So yeah, church, that's who we are. That's who we worship, bro. That's who we are kind, guys, you know? So, believe. And that's the number one thing is for believe, yeah? Like, you know, that's the beginning of everything, but it says, Jesus tell repent and believe. And repent just means for turn, yeah? Turn your mind, turn your heart to, to the creator of everything, you know? And um, for us who are believers and who are being ordained by the Holy Spirit for live like this, like, we gotta be that light for shining. Eh? You know, it takes faith, bro. And that's that, that word too is chair, faith. You know, the feet the size, the feet the size of a master seat can move mountains, bro. And you know, the faith, uh, the definition of faith, yeah, get two, uh, when, I was, when I was looking up faith, eh, it seems like in the Old Testament, before, Faith was different than what it is now. It's the same thing. It's believing that God is who He is, bro. But like, the people before, they had faith because they seen God work. They seen God, the kind, move waters, plagues, the kind, of fire. God used to go with them with a cloud of the kind, fire. In the in night, in a cloud. Like, you know, when God was with them in the presence, bro. That's how people had faith because they seen Him. They witnessed Him, bro. In our um, faith today, is that persuasion, 
persuading of love, that people gotta look at how you live and gotta feel that the kind like want that, you know, because like the the world is hurting, bro. It's the kind like the world right now need hope. I mean, it always need hope. You know, the enemy is always lying and pe keeping people in ignorance, bro. But that's what a good news is, Ono. And us who get the good news, we gotta testify about them, bro, because Jesus. That's how people come to know, bro. It's that testimony, guys. You know, of the good news. Hold on, they keep talking, but you know, it's an encouraging word. Wow. Yeah, but I hope you guys is encouraged. This is uh, this is what the word says, and this is who we are in Christ. So, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. We go jam on a song and then go pray, pray, and uh, try to put these words into action, eh? Majesty. Still there? Yeah, we get a good king, Bob. And a good kingdom. Thank you, Lord, our King, Lord, that uh, you, brought the, you have let us become a part of a kingdom, Lord, that is everlasting, that uh, you, you seal us with your Holy Spirit of promise, Lord, the Holy Spirit that, uh, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for being here and guiding us and revealing to us these words and making that word become flesh, Lord. So I said, I pray, Lord, that this word become inside of our flesh. So that and in the way that we move and grow, so that we can, uh, yeah, Lord, we can manifest your glory to everybody. Since from glory to glory we get to go, Lord, we, we get to ride glory all the way. And I just thank you for that. So, Jesus, 
Thank you for being who you are. We give you all the praise, all the glory. We try to lift you up as high as we can, Lord, here tonight. So that men will be drawn to you. So, Lord, I just pray that all, whoever listening to this, whoever's heart is open for, keep them open. No, no hard enough. But let that arm, yeah, let the seed fall on the good soil. And then, like, Lord, whoever no more good soil, let them know that your brothers with peaks and all O's and ready for suffering mm -hmm. that brother for his life. Okay. Lead them to your people, Lord, so that we can, uh, yeah, we can lead them to you. So we give you all the glory, all the praise. We mahalo you, Lord. <clears throat> Let's go keep this prayer open. Just not, you know, amen. And Fun. keep on going. Hold on more. All right, guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. The Holy Spirit is here. <laughs> <laughs>